I will take a few minutes of yours to introduce an interesting project from Istanbul, Turkey. See this pretty building? The construction is going on at the inside and we hope at the beginning of 2014 we will invite you to the opening ceremony of the Museum of Crimes of Thought. What is it? A museum, as I said, but not a physical one, a fictive one on the internet, which means you don't have to travel thousands of miles to access it. Just a click will be enough. Please keep your mouse in your hand because this is an interactive museum and you may wander as you wish just moving your mouse right to left, forward or backward and click on the doors, figures, statues, photos, etc. to see what's behind. Okay, here we are to cross the street but oops! It's red light, we have to wait. <laughs> A very usual scene, isn't it? Okay, let's walk to the gate. If you wish, you may watch the actual news of freedom of expression violations at the TV screen on the left. This news program is updated 724. Okay, let us enter the building. Here is the entrance hall. Now you have two choices. You may accept the invitation of our pretty guide and she may lead you to see the museum in a logical plan. Welcome, dear guests, to the Museum of Crimes of Thought. Please follow me. Or you may just pass her by and wander along the corridors freely as you wish. On the left corridor, we have the office of the prosecutor and then the courthouse. People waiting in a queue at prosecutor's office. When you click on any of them, you will access the list of people who are being investigated and the probable accusation. When you click on any name, you will read or hear or watch the story. Next comes the courtroom. Click on the crowd of accused in the cage. You will access the list of the people being tried and their stories as well. On the right corridor, we have the jailhouse. This is a nostalgic jailhouse where people used to share the halls. Today they are very, very, very modern, which means people are isolated and have to suffer a second sentence, loneliness in cells. Next comes the first intercontinental graveyard in which Nazim Hikmet, our greatest poet, lies in Novodevich graveyard, Moscow, and Yilmaz Güney, famous film director and actor, and Ahmed Kaya, composer and singer, lie side by side in Perleches, Paris. Internet is a magic stick which brings people together even after death. You will ask where those stairs go. Better not ask and not go down. Dal, D-A-L is the initials for Deep Researches Laboratory, where people were kept in cells and tortured during 1971 and 1980 military regimes. We're back at the main corridor. If you wish to proceed, first you will hear an announcement. Attention please, politicians. Please be careful in the words coming out of your mouth. They may be used as an evidence against you and you may suddenly find yourself in this museum. Yeah, a very dangerous corridor going from today to the past. When politicians spend some words proving that he or she has no idea about freedom of expression, his bust will appear on this corridor the next day and never will leave it. Only when a new one comes, he or she will leave the first line and move back one step. God save all politicians. Along the main corridors, we will pass many junction points where we see secondary corridors to the right or left, each reserved for a different branch such as literature, press, art, science, etc. And each secondary corridor may even divert you to the third step corridors with many rooms on each. In the rooms, you will be able to see, hear and read about those people, their works and stories, sometimes the text, sometimes audio or video material. Just click on the pictures or buttons. 
We also have the lift to carry you to second and third floors, to the gallery of legislation on the second floor and the gallery of freedoms on the third. Gallery of legislation tells about the codes and articles, what they are and how they have been or being used to violate freedom of expression. But if you wish to visit the third floor, the gallery of freedoms, it is not so easy. All the doors of different freedoms are locked. You may never open the doors and access the freedoms behind them unless you have the key and learn how to use it. The key is titled Freedom of Expression.